Hello everyone, today's video content is Analysis of the real questions of the Daybricks Generative AI Engineer Associate Exam and Explanation of Relevant Knowledge Points. The following test questions are all from our question bank, and they were updated on October 19, 2024. Study Guide Question 1. A generative AI engineer has deployed an LLM model to automate responses to user queries on an e-commerce site. Which metric should they prioritize to ensure the model is effectively handling user inquiries? The knowledge points of this question are Query handling rate A model needs to handle lots of user questions quickly, especially during busy times. And measuring how many queries it can process per second shows how well it keeps up with user demand. A higher rate means users get fast answers, which keeps them happy. So the correct answer is This measures how well the model handles user traffic. The more queries it can answer quickly, the better it performs, ensuring users get responses fast even during busy times. Question 2. A generative AI engineer is developing a sports news summarization platform that provides LM-generated commentary in real time. Which solution will enable the platform to access and process live data for real-time sports analysis? The knowledge points of this question are Real-time feature serving Real-time feature serving allows the model to access and process live data instantly. This is crucial for providing up-to-date responses, like sports commentary. It keeps information accurate and timely, giving users a real-time experience instead of delayed updates. So the correct answer is Real-time feature serving lets the model access live data instantly. This is super important when you need up-to-date insights, like during live sports events. Question 3. A generative AI engineer is running a retrieval augmented generation system and needs to observe detailed logs of incoming requests and outgoing responses. Which Databricks feature is best suited for tracking both incoming queries and responses in this system? The knowledge points of this question are Inference tables in Databricks Inference tables track every request and response, making it easy to see how the model is performing. By checking these logs, engineers can spot issues, understand what's working well, and fine-tune the model to respond more accurately. So the correct answer is Inference tables record what goes into and comes out of the model, they help track the system's performance, making it easier to spot and fix problems. Question 4. A generative AI engineer notices that the RAG system occasionally produces offensive outputs. What is the most effective approach to reduce the occurrence of offensive text outputs? The knowledge points of this question are Dataset curation and manual review. Creating and manually reviewing training data helps prevent offensive outputs. By filtering the data before training, the model learns from better sources, which leads to safer and more appropriate responses for users. So the correct answer is... By cleaning up the data and reviewing it before training, you reduce the chances of offensive outputs. This makes the model safer and more reliable from the start. Question 5. A generative AI engineer is building an internal LLM tool for company employees to access policy information safely. Which of the following should they avoid to prevent hallucination and ensure data confidentiality? The knowledge points of this question are Avoid solely relying on fine-tuning. Fine-tuning alone isn't enough to prevent inaccuracies or protect sensitive data. It's important to add measures like access controls, system prompts, and filters to make sure responses are both safe and accurate. This approach keeps user data private and reduces the chance of errors. So the correct answer is... 
Just fine-tuning isn't enough to stop hallucinations or keep data safe. You need extra steps like access controls and filters to make sure the model behaves correctly and keeps info secure. If you have any questions about the Databricks Generative AI Engineer Associate Exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.